you're such a lucky little boy to be in a family like this who will love you and take care of you always. Alicia? Taylor? Um, I'm in here. I was just looking at some pictures. Please tell me you two did not come together. Damn it, Dante, you had no right. Felicia, I'm here because I'm concerned and I want to help. You want to help? Tell lover boy to take his stupid theories and take a hike and leave my son and me alone. Are you saying it's not possible there's not even a chance? No! Felicia. Look, I, I must have been out of my mind going to bed with somebody like you. Yeah, but you did. Because you were in a rebound from Nick, a guy you just had sex with a couple of weeks before. So how can you say that I can't be the father? Because a mother knows who her child's father is. So for the last time, drop this. I can't drop this. Not until, listen, you might be willing to go on instinct here, but I can't do that. Because you're such a fine and upstanding man. Yeah, so upstanding that you pick up drunk women from bars and take them home and have sex with them without using protection. Yeah, you're a real choir boy, Dante. This isn't helping. I want him out of here now. You know, throwing me out is not gonna solve a damn thing because I'm not gonna stop until I find out the truth. Okay, okay, listen. You're both very emotional about this, and, and, and it's not going to help for you two to be attacking each other. It's not going to resolve anything. Nothing to resolve, Taylor, because he is not my child's father. Then prove it. If you're so sure that I'm not the father, let's take this test and find out. I can't believe I'm listening to this. I can't believe you're listening to him. Felicia, I'm not taking sides. If anything, I, I hope that Dominic is Nick's son, for everybody's sake. But even if Dante is the father, wouldn't it be better for you to know now so you can plan your little boy's future? My son's future is with Nick and Bridget. Well, then let's put this to rest right now and settle it once and for all with a medical test, okay? Because until you do... It really is the only way. Nick is my son's father. I know that, and now we have the test results to prove it. So will you please tell him so I can live the rest of my days in peace? I don't understand. I don't understand why Felicia is just giving up. You think Felicia doesn't want to live? That she doesn't want to raise that little baby? Stephanie, her doctors have told her there's no hope. That's why we have to get different doctors. I went to San Diego. I went down there to see some specialists. You told everyone you were going down there on business. I did not want Felicia to think there might be some hope if there wasn't any. But there is. There's a chance. It's a long shot. She could have a liver transplant, Eric. I'll take that chance. Uh, Stephanie, no. What do you mean, no? I don't want to lose my daughter. I, you know, I don't understand what's going on with her. She used to be such a fighter. She still is. She's fighting for that little boy of hers. She's trying to put everything in place before she... Look, I don't want to lose her any more than you do. But we have to respect her choices. Not if they're the wrong ones. Nick is Dominic's father. Tell him. The genetic markers have been examined very carefully. There's a 100% certainty that the baby's father is Dominic's father is Dante. I'm a, I'm a father? Mistake. False positive. The markers are a perfect match. The results are indisputable. Your son, he's a forester, he's healthy, and he's happy. He's Nick's. I knew it before the baby was born. Why do you think I would call him Dominic? And every day as I see him grow, there's more and more of Nick in him. I tell him stories about his family and where he came from. How could 
one stupid test to try to <laughs> destroy everything that I've built my son's life around. <sighs> this is a nightmare. It's better than we know. Better? How is it better? I'm dying. And the only little bit of solace that I have left is knowing that my son is okay, that he has a loving home with a mom and a dad. Nothing has to change. Vic and Bridget can still adopt Dominic, just as they planned. It's best for him. He's already their child in every way that matters. Every way but blood. If you hadn't made me take this stupid test. Alicia, you can't keep a secret like this anyway. It would come out sooner or later. It, your son would think you betrayed him, that you lied to him, and you don't want that. I just hate this. Listen, I think you two need some time alone, and you should talk about it and figure out what you want to do. There's nothing to talk about. Nick has to be told the truth. I have no idea how I'm going to tell Nick or Bridget. Please put Dominic's needs before your own. If you care about him at all, that's what you'll do. That's what I'm going to do. He should be with his biological father. Don't even try to tell him you're falling in love with him just because he shares your blood. I already love him. He's, he's my son. Love takes time to grow, Dante. Just like you're hoping Bridget's love will grow for you when she finds out you're the father. Bridget has nothing to do with this, okay? I'm not going to let you use my son to worm your way back into her heart. No one will love Dominic as much as his real father. You of all people should know that. You're his mother. Felicia, we have a son together. <laughs> you didn't plan it this way, neither did I. But we have a son. And I, I want to see him. I want to hold him. I want to tell him that I love him. And I want him to know that his father is not going to walk away from him. That's where I'm going there right now. No, Dante. Well, I need to see him. Yeah, and say so what? Hi, I'm his real father. I need to see my son. You can't do that. Let me call Nick. OK? I'll tell him to bring Dominic. It's me. Could you bring Dominic home? I really miss him and I need to see him. Now? Yeah. Sure, I'll be right over. I can't believe this is happening. Everything is going to be okay. Oh. It's never going to be okay.